Can you give us a bit of a summary of uh, the outlook for shale gas in Europe? Uh, can we expect a bonanza like we've seen in, uh, in the US? Um, and uh, if so, uh, where in Europe can we expect uh, the biggest changes? No, I think it's a great question. I think that uh, the outlook for shale gas here in Europe is definitely positive. I don't think we're going to see a bonanza like we saw potentially in the, well, we saw in the United States, even potentially in China that's upcoming. Uh, I think that uh, some of the dependence on pipe gas from Russia could be curbed through shale gas. I think that that could happen in the next, say, 8 to 15 years. I don't think it's going to happen anywhere near on the near term. And I think right now we're going to see a lot of, uh, of exploration and CapEx going into Poland uh, as one of the first European countries to really get out in front of the shell gas movement. Uh, is there anywhere else in Europe uh, where, where investors are focusing on? There's, there's a lot of talk of quadrilla in the UK or uh, Absolutely. Romania and Ukraine occasionally here as well. We're seeing a lot of focus here in the UK. Quadrilla just uh, hit a, a pretty big uh, find in Blackpool, possibly 200 TCF of uh, reserve up there. Uh, that could pace with what we saw in Poland. Uh, Turkey uh, has some interesting looking rock out there and some of their geology as well. Also Romania. So there's a lot of countries here in the EU that could have the potential. Uh, there was some great um, uh, potential shell gas in France, but as you know, France has moved currently to put a moratorium on hydraulic fracturing, which has killed any of the exploration efforts we saw there in the, in the Paris Basin. All right, great, thanks. Um, so what are the main challenges and obstacles for developing shale gas in Europe? I think the main challenges are some that we're seeing in the United States, regulatory framework, a concern over the environmental footprint, uh, specifically around hydraulic fracturing. Land access challenges are still going to be a problem as the landowners here do not receive an incentive like they do in the United States for access to their land. Uh, and I think we'll still have to see uh, the challenges around the technical, technological advances, the knowledge and experience needed to be able to find and produce shale gas. America doesn't have the secret sauce, but we do have some experience that might translate well here in Europe. All right. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you.